Okay, so we've named cyclics, now it's time to draw cyclics. Methyl cyclohexane. Okay, so methyl, we'll get to that in a second. Cyclohexane means six carbons in a ring. So make a hexagon. There we go. Hexane means this is all single bonds, so got that covered. And methyl means there's a methyl group on one of these carbons, and no matter where we put it, that's carbon number one, so you can't misplace a methyl group in a cyclic like this when it's the only thing. Okay, now, that's all good, and they want a line structural, which means we have to draw this again without the C's, which is not that big a deal. So drawing the bonds means we just draw a hexagon. Da, da. Okay, and then somewhere on this you put a methyl group. You can pick any carbon you like. There you go. Methyl cyclohexane. Okay, what have we here? Three ethyl, that can wait. Cyclohexene. Okay, so six carbons again because cyclohex. We'll tie them all together just so that our molecule doesn't fall apart on us. And now hexene means somewhere there is a double bond. I'll put it here. And that means either my numbering has to go 1, 2, or it has to go 1, 2. Um, I guess it's up to me since I'm drawing it, so I'll go clockwise. We'll say that's carbon number 1. That's number 2. There. Okay, so if it were just cyclohexene, we would now be done. But then they say on carbon number 3, there is an ethyl group. So right here, another carbon and another carbon. So 3-ethylcyclohexene. Now they want condensed structural for this one and that means they want to hear about hydrogen. So let me get these numbers out of the way. So for this we're thinking every carbon can form four bonds. How many have we used already? This carbon's got one there, two there, three, so it's only got room for a single hydrogen. This one's using three bonds, so it's only got room for one hydrogen. This one's using three bonds, it can hold one hydrogen. This one's got two bonds used up, it can hold two hydrogen. Two bonds, two hydrogen, two bonds, two hydrogen. Uh, over here, this one's got two bonds, so it can hold two hydrogen. And this one on the tail end is only using one bond so far, so it can take three hydrogen. Okay, 3,4-dimethyl, that can wait. Cyclopentene. So, carbon, 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 carbon. That's five carbons because pent. Pentene means there's a double bond. I'll put it down here just to be different. Okay, so single bonds everywhere except for the one double. And the numbering on this has to go, I'll, I'll say this is carbon number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, they say carbon number three has a methyl group on it. Carbon number four also has a methyl group on it. And again, they want condensed structural. I didn't give myself a ton of space here, did I? This carbon has three bonds used, so it can hold one more hydrogen. This one's got two bonds used, it can take two hydrogen. Three bonds used, only one hydrogen there. One bond used, three spaces for hydrogen, uh, three bonds used here, so one, and on the tail end here, another CH3, because it's only used one bond so far. And this carbon has three bonds used, it can take one hydrogen. Okay, methyl cyclopropane. Propane means three carbons. There's cyclopropane. Methyl means put a methyl group on one of these. Uh, let's put it over here. Okay, there's methyl cyclopropane. I didn't need to number anything because if you put a methyl group on, it's automatically going to be your group, your 
atom number one, and that means no need to no, no need to state the number. That's why they left it out. Again, they want condensed structural, so we have to do our hydrogens. The ones on the end are always CH3s, unless there's a double bond. Uh, three bonds used there, one left. Two bonds used here, two left. Two bonds used here, two left. Propyl cyclohexane. That means six in a ring. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's cyclohexane. Propyl is three carbons attached to carbon number one, and carbon number one is wherever I want it to be, so I'll put it over here because I have space over here. There's cyclopropyl cyclohexane. And condensed structural again, so in goes the hydrogen. Uh, CH2. Two bonds used means two left. Here we've used three, only one left. All these are going to be CH2s because they all have two bonds. They're all holding on to their neighbors to the left and right, which gives them two hands left over because they're four handed carbon atoms. Good. And the big finish, cycloheptane. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't draw heptagons very often, but there you go. There's cycloheptane. Carbon number one can be wherever I want. I'll put it at the top, so we'll say this is carbon number one, two, three, four, and I'll go clockwise because I think that's easier for most people. Carbon number one has an ethyl group on it, so C, C. Sorry about the bend, ran out of space. Carbon number two has a methyl group on it. Carbon number three has a methyl group on it. And again, they ask for condensed structural, so yeah. we'll give you the gift of not watching me write hydrogens all over. So that should be it. And a couple more. 4-ethyl, 3-methyl, this can wait. Cyclopentene, that means 5 carbons in a ring. Pentene means there's a double bond someplace. I'll put it there because I always seem to put it in the top right. I don't know why. So there's cyclopentene, and these two atoms now get to be number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, and 5. Because I get to decide what the order is, and I'm going to go kind of like a clock, makes it a little easier. 4-ethyl and 3-methyl, so a carbon there. And for this they want line structural, which means you just draw the bonds without the C's, which isn't too bad. Double bond up there. When there's double bonds in a cyclic, you normally put them on the inside. So Pent means draw a pentagon as nicely as you can. And then you put another line on the inside like so to show the double bond. Or the triple if you had to. And then let's see. So that's carbon number one, two, three has a methyl group on it. And four has an ethyl group on it. One, two. Something like that. And their final attempt to break us, let's see, blah, 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 ignore all that. Cyclohexene is where we start. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be cyclohexane. Hexene means we put a double bond in. And my usual numbering, one at the top and clockwise. You don't have to go that way, but... It's nice to have a standard just because it gets you in the groove a little faster. The third, or sorry, I'll start at the end. Six ethyl. The sixth atom has an ethyl group on it, so carbon there and then another one. And then atoms three and four have methyl groups on them. So something like that. And if in line structural form, this would mean first try to draw a nice hexagon. 
should be easy, kind of isn't. Yeah, okay, there's our hexagon. Double bond, I decided it would go top right. Carbon number three in the bottom right corner gets a methyl group. The bottom carbon gets a methyl group. And the top left carbon gets an ethyl group, which goes one. And then you kind of have your, you could bend you could bend it this way and that would be alright. I'll take mine this way. All done.